Hey, future badass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business podcast, where each episode we'll be walking you through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. In today's episode, I want to talk about franchises. Isn't is buying a franchise the right decision for you? All right, here's the thing. I had a franchise. I coach a lot of people with a franchise. Franchises can be wonderful, but they also can be profit killers. And it's important that you understand what you're getting into when you buy a franchise. Let me explain. Most people buy a franchise because it's a well-known name. For example, almost every single fast food place is a franchise. And it's where an owner buys a business, they buy a location and or a territory from a bigger company and they're able to run that business selling the products that are supplied by the franchise. The franchise is giving you the opportunity to use their name, their reputation, and their products, and to get them at a good price. The pros of a franchise is that very thing. It allows you to take a concept that's already working, and in most cases, it's called turnkey, meaning it's ready to go out the box. In some cases, you might start from scratch or you might buy someone else's franchise. And it's great because when you have a franchise, you should be able to hit the ground running because people are looking to that particular business because they've already know, like, and trust them. And a lot of times what they can do is they can shave off a lot of time of you getting the business up and running. The other thing that's really great about them is because they use the power of the franchise, you can get the products that you sell much cheaper because they get pass along the discounts they're able to provide a supplier because they have hundreds or a thousand locations buying that product. Therefore, the costs tend to be a lot lower for the franchisee. But here's the bad side of a franchise that you've got to keep in mind. And this is probably the single biggest thing that bites people in the butt. And that is having a franchise comes at a cost. You're probably going to have a upfront franchise fee in the very beginning. In some cases, it might be $1,000 up to $25,000, $30,000, if not higher. And that's for you to have the right to use the franchise. And then you have monthly payments that you make to them. And a lot of times that's going to be a flat percentage and that percentage might be 3%, but in most cases it's eight, nine, 15%. It can get very hefty. And sometimes it's even split to where it's a franchise fee and then what they call a marketing fee or an advertising fee. But no matter what, it's mandatory and must be paid. So for example, they might tell you it's a 10% franchise fee and a 3% advertising fee. Don't look at it wrong. It's 13% off the top that goes to the franchise, which means you're already starting off at a loss before you ever get going. So for every dollar you have come in, that 13, 14% automatically goes to the franchise, whether you're profitable or not. And here's the thing, with so many small businesses only really profiting anywhere from 10 to 25%, in some cases, a little bit more, but most franchises, they're not going to profit more than that. You're giving up all that profit to them. So a lot of franchisees wake up finding out they're only making 5 10% at most. And the reason is, is because they're giving up that other 10 15% to the franchise. Another negative thing with a franchise is they had set the rules. Because they have to be the same from location to location, they oftentimes will have specific requirements for the way you run your franchise. You may have to use their processes, their systems, their uh, marketing materials, whatever the case may be, whether it works in your market or it doesn't. And a lot of times they don't offer you much creativity. So when you're out there and you're trying to create new sales, a lot of times your hands will be cuffed because you can't do some of the things you want to do. When I had my franchise, this was probably one of the single biggest things that was very frustrating to me. Yes, I was frustrated because that franchise fee ate into any, all of my profits, but I was equally frustrated because here I am trying to create even more sales and I really couldn't because I couldn't go outside of the box. If they wanted to do a dumb coupon or a dumb product, I had to still do it no matter how much I thought it wasn't going to work in my building. And a lot of times that cost me a lot of money. I remember a specific piece of equipment that was $7,000 that I knew was not going to bring me in any kind of business. And it brought in 2% sales, which never would pay for the equipment that I had to buy. And I much rather have invested that $7,000 into other stuff that absolutely would have created way more business for me. 
Keep in mind, the franchise is profitable on their end when you do sales. They are not profitable based off of your profits. So honestly, all they care about is your top line, your sales. They don't care if you make a profit in most cases. I'm not saying all of them are like that, but the vast majority of them are built that way because they don't make money off of when you make money. They make money off of when you sell something. So their number one priority is for you to sell more not necessarily for you to make more. Please make sure that when you are doing your homework on a franchise, that you look at how much those fees are going to be, how much you're giving up every single month, and what do they do to help you be profitable? Ask them that question, because ultimately you have to make a profit in order to survive. There's a reason franchises are sold all the time. And it's because a lot of times the person who buys it works it for three to five years, realizes they're making no money and they turn around and they try to sell it. So if you're going to buy a franchise from someone, ask to see their books, look at the numbers and look at how much money is going out every single year in those franchise fees. Now, there are some businesses that absolutely you need that name recognition, but I will tell you, there's a lot of businesses that are out there that you could start your own business. It might start off a little bit slower, but I promise you, you'll get to the same amount of sales because the way you get your sales is through hustle. And if you do it on your own, a lot of times you can end up making more money doing less in sales because your profit is much higher because you're not giving away that 10, 12% to somebody else. So yes, you might make, quarter of a million dollars in sales in the franchise and your own, you're going to do 250 half, but you're going to make, you know, three times as much because of the profitability difference that you have. So just make sure that you ask yourself, is having the franchise the right thing? Uh, you know, for example, a carpet cleaner, if you go out and you buy part of their business, a franchise, it, they're going to give you the equipment, they're going to give you all this good stuff. But I promise you, when you get all said and done, you could probably buy your own equipment. It'll take you a little bit longer to get everything. But that hustle that you could go out there and you create your own business in carpet cleaning, you're probably going to make a little bit more money. So it just depends upon what that business is. Uh, I had an ice cream shop and it was a well-known ice cream company. And I used to laugh going, if I just sold knockoff stuff, yes, I wouldn't get the tried true people that had been going to that ice cream shop for 75 years, but I would get people that were craving ice cream as long as I served really good ice cream and I could make more money uh, just because I was providing a service in the city of ice cream, which is really what most people crave. Uh, There's a certain group of people that are going to crave a specific brand, but most people, they just want to take their kids somewhere and have some ice cream. And if you can build a business that is profitable around that, then guess what? You're going to be perfectly fine. So franchises, they, they have a purpose. They're good for some things. You'll never learn more than you will during a franchise because they already have a lot of the processes in place and and they teach you P&Ls and they teach you how to run a business. There's a lot of good that comes out of it, But in the end, if your goal is to make money in world domination, I promise you a franchise in most cases only work when you buy multiple locations, which is why you find people that are the most successful have two, three, four, five, or 10 locations because that's really the only way they can make the good money is by doing that. And if you don't want to live, breathe, and and find the right people to be able to run all those little businesses for you, then it's something for you to also look into. Like I said, Franchise have have some good and bad to them. Just make sure that you're looking at all sides of it. Make sure you look at the numbers. Make sure you fully understand how much money you're paying to the franchise. Make sure you fully understand what they give you in return for that money. And ask, talk to other franchisees. Ask them if they would do it again. I think that's one of the biggest things. And when I say ask them if they would do it again, not the people they send you to. The franchise is going to say, go talk to eight. A, B, and C. You go talk to the other franchises and ask them would they do it again and why or why not? Because the people they're going to put you in front of are tried blue, you know, they bleed for that company and they believe in it. So they're only going to tell you the good, the hype, uh, and tell you what you need to hear. You need to go talk to the people that really are going to tell you what you need to hear, which is the day to day, the ones that are struggling or barely making it, or maybe they're doing okay, but would they do it again? They might tell you no because they just don't make the kind of money they hope to make, but they do a decent job and they make a decent living. Uh, if you want a job, most times franchise are great for that. If you want to, you know, you can, you can make a really good living doing some of these franchise by working inside of them, being an employee in it, and you're going to make sixty, a hundred thousand dollars a year doing that. But if your goal is to not work every single day and to grow it to more than that, a franchise may or may not work for you. So just talk to them, talk to people. Like I said, I think they're going to be an insight to a lot of it. Uh, with that, I'll wrap this one up. And then on our next one, we're going to talk about a family business. So uh, 
Let's talk about that one on our next episode. Bye for now.